Hey everybody, my name is Jess and I am a reseller, thriftaholic. Welcome to Thrifting is My Beach. I have a Ben's Hall, which is Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's $1.59 a pound. And without further ado, let's get started. I will put all the comp and information up in the corner because I have not researched the majority of this stuff as I just went the other day and it's been sitting by my door. So I need to film this video, I can get it processed and listed. I put my store links down below if you're ever interested. Yes, I found a big pony hat. Um, also, like and subscribe this video, it does mean a lot to me. I love to share my finds with you guys, as I know my husband's probably tired of me showing him. Realistically, right? Like, put it in the comments below. When you get home and you're like on your thrift tie and you show your significant other, I mean, it's kind of always a letdown because they just don't seem near as excited, but I'm also loving that he at least listens to me. <laughs> okay. So yes, I was very excited to find this uh, Ralph Lauren hat. This is a for their fragrance line, but it is really neat with the big embroidered pony. And these go for about $50. I did look this up because it threw me for a loop. It's their free gifts with purchase of perfume. And I didn't see any of their tags, but once I got home, it has the RN number and it says exclusively for Ralph Lauren perfume. So <clears throat> again, about $50, really nice. There's a dent. It just wasn't shaped very well, but anyways, yeah, the bill has a nice curve. Sometimes um, it'll be like crooked and those are hard to fix. Okay, another exciting find that I'm pretty sure somebody threw back. If you guys know, you know. This is a vintage leather coach handbag. I don't know the exact style yet, but this is one from the late 80s, early 90s. It says made in the USA. It's got the suede interior and the stamp, which is it's really hard to access. But this one is made in the USA, and the only thing I can think as to why they threw it back was because they didn't think it was authentic. But I have sold these numerous times, and I just love it. It's got the adjustable buckle strap. It actually has the leather uh, insignia for, you know, coach. The keychain has an exterior pocket. This is too small for me to use, but it's a very nice brown. I love this color. It's in beautiful condition. I will give it a little leather conditioning as I always try to make my leather look as best as it can, but I don't see any um, scratching or anything like that. There is some patina to the brass, which is to be expected, and it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, I'll put comps in the corner. I'm guessing at least $75. I've sold the larger ones for like $150-ish. Okay, I'm doing my hard goods first and then we'll do the clothing second. And the clothing is a mix of modern and vintage. Um, if I were to rate this haul, in my opinion, without doing the research, I'm going to say it was only probably a five out of 10 uh, for this location. I typically find pretty good stuff. And I actually left early because I wasn't finding as much, but that's okay because I went with um, a friend of mine or and uh, she was a blast, and it was her first time, which is always exciting. I have not cleaned these up yet, but these are some Y2K Skechers. It's a twill cotton. What's super cute is they're like a sneaker, but if you look up close, I probably should have gotten these listed over the weekend, but it has the heart, and then the heart's on the side sole. Nice little wedge. These are an eight and a half. Really cute. It's kind of giving me pinup vibes with the red and hearts, but really cute slingback wedges. I'll probably list those for $50. Whenever I find 90s or Y2K shoes that have the rubber sole, I always do the bend test. I recently have been going through a death pile that's been in my garage for about two years, and it was a bunch of purses and shoes including like some Brighton mules and some other ones. And since they have been in my garage, it gets really cold here in Illinois. They actually got dry rotted and I had to throw them away. I was so sad. So yeah, okay. I recently sold dead stock 
vintage mud stainless steel mud flaps for fifty dollars that I got for a dollar. So I'm always now taking a second look at new car accessories just because it's so easy to list. And this is just simply a trim kit. It's just chrome and I will show you on the back. It's right here. I wanted to make sure that it was new and it is, there is a little bit of damage on the plastic. As you can see, it's a little bit dented. I did a quick Google lens and did not find a comp super quick, but it says USA on the back. I'm guessing this is 80s, 90s. I still see these old Ford trucks driving around here in Illinois. Okay, I debated this at first, but it really pulled at my heartstrings. I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Jess, what are you thinking? This is so ugly. But this was in so many like grandmother's 80s homes with the brown, the, this is actually hand painted, which I love the geese. It's a very beautiful scene. It is very well done. I hope the camera picks it up all the detail and it has this fabric and lace trim. So it's already framed for you. The only thing I'm noticing is there's no hook to hang, but there's a little divot here so you could, it would hang by itself. Anyways, I had to save it. It is signed. I of course will look it up. It's by Jay Perigo. It looks to be like normally, you know, the latch hook hoops or the hoops are just like pine or whatever, but this looks to be almost like oak. I don't know. Okay. That one I'll do research on, but I'm guessing I could at least get $40 for it. And I cross post. I'm guessing that will sell on Etsy. Now here, well, that's a clothing item. I'll show that later. This, uh, my friend found really cute. I've been looking for plush as I thrift for the holidays and Valentine's is just around the corner and then Easter's next month. But I'm going to check comps on this little dingo. So cute. Any unique plush I always want to take a second look at. Very detailed, very well made. It also is, says Italy has their website. So I don't think it's super old. And it is, it's made in Indonesia. It originally retailed for $23.50. If it's not worth it, then I will gift it. But it is just so stinking cute. Little bingo. And then this my daughter tried latching on to. But I love finding these like 3D candy dot bags. This one is probably 60s or 70s. And as you can see, I love the multicolor. I have not found one this colorful yet. And it does have the metal zipper right here with the larger zipper pull. That's what's helping me date it. Also just the style and the type of fabric that they did use. Now, while the main part of the bag looks super nice, um, I think one may be missing right there. The strap does show missing beads, which unfortunately will depreciate the value. So I'm guessing $40. If it is different, I will put it up in the corner. Okay, um, one hard good left, and then we'll get to the clothing. I could not find a comp. I tried Google Lens quickly when I was in the store, but this just really stood out to me. It was in a new bin and very high quality looking. The leather, do you see how thick that leather is? That's an indicator of the quality of this bag. And another thing that caught my eye was it's Hawaii Tiki Bowl. If you can see that in the reflection, a lot of people are collectors of tiki home decor and cups. So yeah, it's a leather and canvas messenger bag slash briefcase. And it's specifically made for, I'm guessing, this event um, for football as he is holding the football. I just think it's a very unique. So I hope it comes in the corner. It's very clean. Um, I don't see any signs of wear. I don't know that it was actually ever worn. And it has the nice strap. That I probably, this is probably two and a half pounds. So do keep that in mind that I did pay a little bit more than the other items for that. Okay, take it back. I have a huge bag over here to the side. If you know me, I love selling linens. And I found tons of these really pretty floral um, curtain panels. And it's all in here. As you can see, it's like a very thin woven 
yellow rose and gray floral prints. They are Lauren, Ralph Lauren, or maybe it's Ralph Lauren Home. They are gorgeous and in very beautiful condition. I didn't see any like snags, blemishes, or any discoloration. They don't have an odor, which is always good. Um, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. They are polyester, but they, with the woven texture, they look like linen to me. Um, I just picked all of these up that I found, and when I checked eBay, there were quite a few, like 20, uh, which is unfortunate because um, most of them are brand new, so <clears throat> I'm likely going to sell that on another place, either like Poshmark or Mercari, and in this total haul, I spent about $70, so this was a smaller haul. I wasn't there as long. I'm also a lot more selective. With what I'm picking up. Moving on to the clothing. I could not believe I found this in a picked over bin. The only reason I could think they put it back was it's a size zero. I typically don't find these pull tags but I'm going to tell you this is an oversized zero. I wear a medium and this would fit me. It's just a simple black cropped t-shirt. I don't know their style names. I hardly ever find um, Lululemon, like ever, but the seams looked good because I know they do make counterfeits. The stitching looks really nice, so I grabbed it. And, you know, I'm guessing it's only going to sell for like that 20 maybe $25 mark. But it was Lululemon, and I hardly ever find it in my area. And if I do find it, they mark it up, so. Okay, I find these flannel, plaid flannels all the time, so I do have to be selective but I really like the colors of this, and I think this is more 80s. I find a lot of the ones from the 90s. Here's the tag. I think it says King, King Sport. This is an extra large, but the colors are just gorgeous, so I had to get this one. And I will probably list that one for $40. All right, I found some men's 90s black denim jeans, and these are by... Arizona Jean Company. They are very simple, but I feel like they're very on trend. It is a straight leg black denim. I actually found two of them, and they're in really nice condition. They're 3430s, so a good size, and I went ahead and picked them up. It's made in Mexico of U.S. components, so it's probably late 90s, early 2000s, but the style is what made me pick them up. Plus, I have two of them, so I can just do a duplicate listing. So the second pair is right there. This jacket was a go back to somebody. Um, there were a decent amount of resellers there. And it's by Merino Bay, which does not mean anything. I do pretty well selling these mid-weight, like these heavier lined denim jackets, like workwear style. However, the inside is amazing. Check out this blue and gray Aztec print. I love it. It reminds me of like a blanket lined jacket, which those do really well. Now it says it's only a medium. It looks really large to me, but I do love the pocket. It has a special slit for, you know, like your pen or pencil. So yeah. One thing I did note that I wonder if they put it back is that the pocket liners have holes in them, like the seam and the pockets have came undone. So unfortunately, I think I will repair that because I don't know who would want to have that with uh, holes in their pockets. Plus I could see like somebody trying to return it because they didn't read it, that the, the hole, there are holes in the pockets. The next one, as I was in Iowa, you can imagine I would find some I Iowa Hawkeye stuff. I try to stick with something that's more substantial or this is Y2K. Iowa Hawkeyes lined windbreaker. Really nice condition. So I went ahead and picked this up. It has pockets and it's an extra large. So great size. It's collegiate licensed. So you know it was well made and not just some one off. But yeah. Really like that jacket. <sighs> this was in a new bin. It was crazy. It might have been the craziest I've ever seen as far as people elbow to elbow. Um, when the new bins came out and so I just scooped this up now it's not what you think of course it's 
Aaliyah. Um, it's a graffiti print t-shirt. However, somebody did take some scissors to the neckline, which is fine, but I did just a, there's no tags, and it is double stitch. I, it, it's modern. Um, I see them priced on Depop for $25, but I had to get it because I think it's a really cool item. And sometimes when things pull at my heartstrings like that, I just have to get it. This, I don't know what it is. I haven't done research on it, and I think I will have to bleach this because there is a little bit of discoloration on the sleeve. It's not that bad. Like, I really don't have to bleach it, but I probably will. Um, let me know in the comments. This is an 80s crew neck. It is white, and it's Decca, Iowa, the winner's edge. For some reason, that's given me, like, a smoker logo for, like, cigarettes. I know, I don't think that is, but it's a really good size for the 80s. This is an extra large. Um, how you can tell it's 80s is that under the size in the corner, they have the numbers. So yeah, this is interesting though. It's, it's fabric made in USA, but it's sewn in Jamaica. That is odd for something that's for Iowa. I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that, but yeah, I had to pick it up. I did leave so much stuff behind. Like I said, I was being pretty selective. Okay. They had quite a few polls from the stores, which I didn't mind, but a lot of it was like mall brands, Target, Walmart. You know how it is when you go to the store. And you flip through and there's a lot of Shein and fast fashion, which is really sad that the more I go to the thrift, the more it's that cheap fast fashion. But I loved these. It kind of reminded me of like the 70s with the color, like the couches, but it's free people. <laughs> and so I found a stock photo. I'll insert it here. And these go for an okay-ish amount that I will get it. And at the... Goodwill store, they tried selling them for $13. Let me see what the date is that they tagged it. So this was tagged January 9th and I went, okay, so they must have it out on the sales floor for three, no, I guess four weeks. <clears throat> Alrighty. I guess this is technically not clothing. They had this tagged at the store, which blows my mind it didn't sell. Maybe it was folded up and people couldn't see it. It was a $4. It's an outdoor flag. It is double-sided and embroidered. It's a very high-quality um, POW flag. So, <clears throat> beautiful condition. Has the grommets. You know, as you can fly it outside. Now, this has been used right here, but I don't see damage to it or snags or anything like that. So, again, it's double-sided. Good size. Try to pick it up. Really nice flag. This was also a throwback, which completely shocked me. I don't find this old of Banana Republic often, but the older stuff does well. I wouldn't say this is Safari, but almost. This is made in Hong Kong. That's what also made me think that it's actually older. But it's a very trendy vest. It's Sherpa lined. And really nice plaid with a zip front, has the patch pockets. Again, made in Hong Kong, beautiful size. It is a large, it looks really large. And it's a wool blend, as you can see there. There's no holes in it. I don't know why people are throwing things back, but it's totally okay with me. Um, maybe they just don't, I don't know, maybe they're not looking for like those heavy bulky stuff as it is February. And people may be looking to shop more for the spring items. Okay, this is, I love the colors, very 70s with the color combo. Now, I do pretty good with Vera Bradley. Um, it does, it can sit for up to a year, but if I can get it at the bins, that's okay with me. A lot of times you can just stick them in the washer on Delicate. Um, just remember to take out the cardboard bottom liner because that will get ruined. Um, but I like the print. Now this one may be a little bit tricky because it has the middle top kiss lock closure, but I recently sold one. It was actually on Etsy. It was a vintage one and it sold for 30, 35. Yeah. So 
and I get quite a bit of tension between all the platforms for these bags. Um, they don't go for over 40, but, and I did notice once I got home that there is, um, something has spilled right here. So I don't know if I want to put this one in the washer because it's only dirty in this area or if I just want to spot clean it. But anyways, nice bag. And I only get them if there's no like rub wear on the corners or the handles because that's typically where the, the wear will show the most. But I just thought these were fun colors. And I don't know if TikTok, I think I read an article where TikTok is actually bringing these bags back. Plus it's been a good, what, 20 years um, that they were popular. So this is something I just had to get. I have another one of these, I think for Aldi, but I got this at the Goodwill. And these are great shopping bags. These little plastic pieces here clip on to the side of the cart, shopping cart. And look at how big this is. And you can put all of your, your shopping stuff in here. It's just nice, practical. It's not for resale, but I'll just show you guys. Okay, I hardly found any vintage at this location. Unlike last time where I found so much, but I found this gorgeous, um, I think it's a midi dress, silk floral, uh, has the shoulder pads, the ruching, the gathering. It's beautiful. This would be great for Easter or summer. As you can see, it has a subtle dot print that kind of reflects a little bit on the fabric. I'm trying to see if this is true silk. It is. Made in Korea, it's Maggie London and it's a vintage four so it could be like a modern two but i really liked the fit and print on this dress so i had to get it here's a modern piece i typically pass on tour and however this is a maxi dress and it's also a tour in four which is equivalent to a 4x or 26 but it's also new tags um this did come from the thrift store, so it did not sell. However, the thing that throws me off is I went on Friday, which was the 9th of February, and this was just tagged on the 2nd of February. So the only reason I can think is it's not seasonal, like this is for summer kind of, but they were asking $6 for it. So I don't even know if it hit the floor. Um, <laughs> there could be a flaw in it that I just don't see. It's got pockets. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. It's like a cream and it's showing a little bit brighter on camera, but um, like a pinky red. Really pretty. Again, you know, I can use their stock photo. So this will be easy to list. Try to see if there is a flaw. No, I don't think there is. Again, I, I, I try to stay away from Torrid just because it doesn't retail for a whole lot. It did retail for 80, so I'll probably ask 35 or 40 for this. And it's long and it's maxi like ankle length <clears throat> okay i debated on these i really didn't find much linens either it was just so sad like those curtains um which may be a fail <laughs> as there's so many online and also this sweater i just i think i need to find another shirt to pair it with because this shirt is too big and so it's like bunching up okay but i found not just one of these but two these like tapestry fabric cross skill pillow covers and they say they're standard size but can you guys see how big this is to me I think they measure 27 by 21 and again there's two of them I was going to pass if it was just one they had these for five dollars a piece um which isn't bad but the pattern is not typically like this is a dated style but people love it still and cross skill if I say that wrong so let's see is a quality brand and if you check comps they actually are pretty decent. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Now this is the kind of stuff that I was hoping to find more of. I love this like 80s silk beaded sequence, um, maximal style uh, clothing. But this was the only one I found. It's like an 80s red beaded silk top with the gorgeous beading details. I like the zigzag, this has a V cut so yeah, only one, no tags. These are typically by like Stine, uh, made in India, but again, I could not find any tags, unfortunately. But that's okay. Top like that, I would probably list for like $40. Now, 
precious moments used to be highly collectible, but the resale is um, really bad. However, I couldn't leave this blanket behind. I have sold another precious moments um, blanket. I do believe that this is vintage, really cute pastel pink for some little girl. And it's got the goose and it says precious moments together and a mini floral print but if you look very close there's like a little screen print of these white hearts I don't think this was hand stitched I could be wrong but there is a loose the binding has come unstitched in one area like a small section so it's not a deal breaker, but I'm guessing I'll sell this blanket for like $40 and it's clean. And that was not tagged. So they did not previously try to sell that. I don't think now <laughs> I didn't see this till I got home. I was excited about it. I think I might've even put it on Instagram, but I loved BB back in the day. I used to wear this like spaghetti strap, really tight, really low cut tank. The head of the rhinestones, it was pink. I'm pretty sure I deleted the photo. <clears throat> because it was a little scandalous and I don't really want it floating around on the internet <laughs> but uh, yeah really cute this is a neon pink it's got like that texture and it was new tags it's a medium I will probably just keep it so what totally threw me off was I saw its candy kiss color is it has the tag here saying 50 bucks however I didn't see the one above it and it doesn't look like a dupe see it sold for five bucks and I'm like what in the world but the tag I mean, it doesn't look like a generic. I don't know. I'm thrown off. But I'll probably just keep it for the summer. That was a flop. Put in the comments if you know. Like, why would they sell it for $5? I don't know. Um, I'm going to see if my daughter will wear this really cute velvet pinafore style dress, like apron dress. I love the little print of the, oh, what are those bikes? totally blanking the little bicycles and then it's got the heart accent buttons really cute so I guess it should have been checked out total granny core I don't know what it is but all these like even high school girls are wearing these like 90s grandma crew necks <laughs> with like the birds and all the like winter scenes and stuff this one is really nice as far as it's quite a bit and it's got that layered neck look but it's also on the back which is so cool it's a good size too. Um, it's by Morning Sun, which I have sold that brand before. It's a large. So, it's Flocko Bell, Peanut Hut, Birder King, Canary Queen. Oh, I'm just getting it. <laughs> it's a plan words with fast food restaurants. <gasps> That's actually really clever, and I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is another new brand, and it could be a total flop. Comps were kind of all over the place. But these are like adult jeans by a brand I was not familiar with, Fallon Taylor. I don't know if it's sold in like a certain boutique, but it's got the leather patch and it's like printed color denim. These are the Longhorn Steer Aztec Southwest style in like a mustard yellow. And I do like the fact that these are flare, not super flare, but flare. They're size 27. And then these I like better because they're donuts, pink donut print jeans. Like it's the, it's jean fabric. Again, they're size 27s and I'm a 28. Oh no, this one is a 28, but they look small. I will try to try them on, but they look like they run small or they shrink. So anyways, those were fun. Again, comps were like 20 to $65 really all over the place. I didn't find these prints when I did a quick search, but we'll see. My pile is getting smaller to show you guys. Now I, this is kind of giving me Emilio Pucci vibes and it is vintage by the colors. I'm going to say 60s or 70s. Love the yellow and orange. It feels like silk. It, it probably is a polyester but the stitching is all on the inside when they brought the seams together. And I was really hoping to find a style, like a brand, and I have not. So I haven't Google Lensed it. Google Lens may help me, 
but I thought even putting this on a simple dress or a sweater or a blouse would look super cute to sell. Not my personal style to wear. Okay, like I said, thank you for sticking with me. Sometimes I do talk a little much, but the bins were so crazy. Again, I was, I was in it with, you know, elbow to elbow with everybody, but for this particular rotation, I was not, I just didn't quite make it over there. So as people were going nuts, I would like look in between their bodies and I'd like swoop, like <laughs> swoop. I did the swoop with this piece. Now, I didn't know what it was at first. All I did was see the fabric is like blanket fabric and I thought it was like a vintage San Marcos blanket, which I do well with those or a style like it. However, it is a full zip jacket guys of the killer whale in a gorgeous hue of like navy and blue. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Free Willy um, nostalgia for sure. But the tag, um, late 90s, early Y2K, it's that kind of ribbon tag, but underneath of it is a paper tag that does say, made in USA, Largo, Florida. So I will do a little bit more research. Oh, that's interesting. It's made in Florida, but it's <laughs> embroidered for Alaska. Probably for their, um, some souvenir piece for like an Alaskan cruise, which my husband really wants to go on and I have no desire. Do not like to be cold. Okay, this is a vintage costume piece for I Dream of Jeannie, I believe. Uh, handmade. And I absolutely love it. I will have to model this because it will not look right. But again, it's got the cool, really large sequins that make noise <laughs> when you move and the pink tool with the sequins sewn on. It's really well made and it is super cute. So I couldn't leave it behind. Typically when you find these vintage costumes, they're just absolutely ruined with snags and stains, but these look to be in nice condition. So I will probably have to model those all right, here is a baby blanket, which I believe is the only blanket I got on this whole trip. And it's not vintage. This is actually from Walmart. It's a really cute um, farm blanket. Very plush. There's no matting on it. I don't like to get blankets that have too much wear on it. So this looks really nice. Again, these Walmart blankets still sell for me because they become out of stock and their baby really likes it or the parent really likes it and they want a backup. So. Um, I'm hoping to get at least $25 for this one. Okay. Now, just because an item retails for a lot doesn't mean it resells for a lot. And this is the case with the brand Splendid. Now, I went ahead and picked this up because it's a very on-trend piece. It's a gorgeous color. It's a button-up velvet shirt, and it is new with tags. Goodwill was trying to sell this at their high-end boutique area that they usually keep in the front of the store for $21. Uh, did not sell. It retailed for $158. It's albergine is the color, and it's a medium. But it's like this crushed velvet gorgeousness. Here is the brand Splendid. But I'm probably going to get like $35 or $40 for this unless it's a really current piece. Um... I can check and see if they date their clothing. I have the style number. Oh, it's September of 2018. So yeah, I'll be lucky to get $40 for that. But it was just so gorgeous. I love velvet. I could not leave it behind. Here's another Goodwill poll that did not sell because they priced the set at $19. It would have been nice at Halloween if you wanted to be like a mall walker or a Golden Girls. But this windbreaker love all the color blocking and it actually has the floral embroidery has the matching pants it's a large made in taiwan i did check the elastic on the pants at first i found the pants by themselves and i was like oh if only the jacket and then later i found the jacket and the bins that had the goodwill poles were so like they overfilled them and there was no way you could get to the bottom unfortunately so who knows like what treasures i left behind but all right, and I think this is my first time finding Patagonia at the bins. I've found it a handful of times at the thrift. This is my size, but I don't like wearing plaid. Um, 
just a gorgeous coloring. Now, I wish it said Patagonia here. Where does it say it at? Maybe it doesn't. So yeah, I'm hoping for at least 30. I could be way off and get more. It's a size eight. What's it say? Organic. Ooh, this is organic cotton. So hopefully more than 30. It's pretty thick flannel. Like it's all, I, I would consider this a shacket. Um, Organic cotton. I was just seen a year on this. I wonder if I could use their pictures. I don't see a year. Oh wait, nope. I have the style name. Um, fall of 2016, FA16. Uh, again, so this is a dated. It's still trendy and I do really like the colors. So I will hope for the best. Obviously it's like the end of our winter season, but it's a great brand. Okay, now this is something that I will list on Etsy. This is a vintage Bear Bradley tote. And yeah, again, it's really like screaming spring, as you can see from the floral print with the pink polka dot bows. This is very, I feel trendy now. And it's got the spell out Bear Bradley throughout the fabric as well. I do like this little scalloped pocket. It just is giving me more like cottage core vibes. And yeah, um, Goodwill did try sell this for $16 and it didn't go through a full rotation. So they got rid of it. And what I like about it is it still has its cardboard for the bottom, but it also has little pockets all on the inside on both sides so you can stay organized because I love carrying a big bag, but then you're digging for your item. So it's nice that it's organized. So yeah. Anyways, that was my last item from the Goodwill bins. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll probably be posting a what sold video in the near future. I'll catch you on my next one, guys. Bye.